One of the problems with developing animal models of synesthesia is that obviously we can have no handle on what an animal might really be experiencing. The closest that, that we have uh, to that are a series of studies um, done about a decade ago. So one is a, a study by von Melcher et al, where they actually rewired the brains of ferrets so that the auditory cortex received inputs from the lateral geniculate nucleus, which is part of the visual pathway. So when this happens, uh, the cells in the auditory cortex um, take on properties of uh, visual cells. They respond to lines of particular orientations and so on. What was interesting about their study is that they trained the ferrets to actually discriminate between uh, sounds and vision. So if they were played a sound, they would go to one water spout. If they were, played a, 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 if they were shown a, a flash of light, they would go to the other one. So you could then ask, ask the, uh, the ferrets when they are um, being shown vision, is it like hearing or is it like vision? And you could uh, see that by seeing which of the two spouts that they go to. What they found is that when the, the ferrets um, had the flashes of light that were going to the auditory cortex, they would go to the spout that had been rewarded visually rather than the spout that had been rewarded through hearing. So it suggests that they were, at least behaviourally, if not in terms of conscious experience, interpreting uh, this visual input uh, in visual ways, even though it was going to the auditory cortex. In non-rewired uh, brains, you can obviously address other questions, such as what determines whether or not a, a visual region will respond to vision or sound, say, as a result of blindness or as a result of genetic changes. So you could look at animal models of visual cortex and see how different visual regions differentiate each other or, or create these kind of cross connections that we think might be involved in synesthesia. But again, this is operating at purely the neural level. But we could then look for homologies in those genes in humans, in synesthetes even.